aka ode Anna Nemoma. The Igbo Et Moon Goddess Anna was venerated all over the world. To find all the places Ndu Shiagere traveled to from Africa, we must follow the footsteps of Anna. Anat, Anet, is a Northwest Semitic mother of God, Nechukunine, known as Anet in ancient Kemet, also known in Ogaret, Hebrew, Phoenician and Greek spirituality. She is a very important Northwest Semitic goddess who is known as a Canaanite deity who became popular in ancient Kemet during the Middle Kingdom. She was also sometimes called Queen of Heaven. Her iconography varies and she was usually shown carrying one or more weapons. In a Syrapian inscription, the Greek goddess Athena Sotera Nike were all equated with Anach, who was described in the inscription as the strength of life. Anach was also called Athena by Sanchu Nierthon. Anach is also associated with Elat, which is Allah in Ibu, known as the goddess of motherhood and fertility by the Akkadians. Her center cult was at ancient Jerusalem. In Kemet, during the fifth centuries, Elephantine Papyri made a mention of a goddess called Anat. Alawala. Alawala is the full name of the Igbo et goddess known as Allah, Ani, Ana, all over Igbo land. Allah is a Nechukwokeke. We currently live inside her womb, Afana. All the et goddesses of the world are personification of Allah. Igbo culture, Odinane, Odinala, that which is on earth, was named after the supreme et goddess. All the proper shrines of Allah in Ibulan are made up of natural forests, trees. Many times her shrines are built with shrubs. Nechuku no momba. Nechuku amore nankano. Nechuku na obiene. All these different shrines of Nechuku okeke were all built around natural environments. Ahobunaga 
Ahubnaga is the Igbo spirit that rules over the forests and every natural environment. He is one of the first sons of the Earth Mother, Ajana. He provides ecosystem for the Earth. Ahubunaga is an evidence proving that the ancient Igbo people had a tremendous regard for nature and natural environments. Ahubunaga cannot function anywhere that isn't natural, and the best place to experience Ahubunaga is to go deep into the forests. Agu means three things in Ibu. Forests, leopard, and big cats. However, Agu is much more associated with leopards and forests because the leopard is a forest dweller. The priestess that is in nature. The original Ibu culture and tradition are based on animism and shamanism, which is the natural culture of the first people on earth and we also see Ane in animism. Ibu means forest of life and the principles of Ibu, who is Ahubunag, teaches that one must fully embrace nature, one of the proper initiation ritual process of being an Ibu shaman is to spend a certain amount of time in a natural environment, which is the forest. The Ezenwani priestess or Ezenwoke priest must master the language of nature before being an Igbo shaman. Obunaga, a forest dweller, one who is one and the same with nature, an embracer of all that is natural. A true Igbo. To consult Ahabunaga, you must go into nature, an area where plants, animals, and other organisms, as well as weather and landscapes, work together to form a bubble of life. The mysteries of Obunaga enlightens us about the ways of the first humans that lived during the first age of the world, known as Ogaka. The age of the spirit self. Ahabunaga is also the father of agriculture and vegetations. No, no, Ibu. Mother Nature creating what we know as spring and summer. Green is Ndo in Igbo, which is also the Igbo word for life. Respectively, because of the tremendous nature, knowledge, and agriculture that comes out of the Igbo culture of Ajana and Ahobunaga, the majority of the soups eaten in West Africa are Igbo soups. Ofo Okoro, Ofo Oha, Ofo Igushi, Ofo Onubo, Ofo Obono, Ofo Ede. These are all Igbo vegetable soups that Ajana Nechukwokke use to nourish and nurture Igbo and its neighbors. Naibo. The divine father of Igbo. Father Nature. In the Igbo et culture known as Odinane, there are various et dwelling deities such as Ado, Chuku, Chuku Afo, Obini Ba, Obinaga, Arobunaga, Ahobunaga, and many others. They are all embodiments of Father Nature.
Elabuibo. The antelope is an incredible fast animal that is associated with innocence, watchfulness, and intuition. Okike made them so fast and extremely intuitive, which is what they used to escape and stay out of trouble. This is also why the ancient Igbo gave the antelope the name of the spirits of watchfulness and intuition, known as Ele. Ele, the infinite watcher, manifested itself and its elements in the antelopes. Antelopes also represents the spirit of Ogaka, which is a spirit that is herbivorous, a nomadic animal that feeds on plants instead of other animals or humans. This is also the reason why they represent Obioma, pure soul. Humans of the first age of the world we are very nomadic like the antelopes and also feed on plants. Ella represents the spirits of Ndushiaka, which are Ndembo, the offsprings of the old god, Akofu. Ella is a part of the Capricorn family, which includes goats. The idea of Capricorn representing a sea goat originated from the zoomorphic form of the Sumerian god Enki, E. Enki is also a spirit that is friendly to humans, just like Ele. Enki, E, is the Sumerian manifestation of Ele in Ibu. Na Omomo, Omo, Akwale Omomo, Oda Omomo is the Igbo mother goddess of birth and protection known as Ijitaakwo in Alpha. She is the spirit of birth. Everything is bathed. Children, wealth, success, protection are all bathed. She is one of the many manifestations of Unnetru Gwokike, which is Ajana. Mot, the consort of Amun and the mother of Quensu, is an incarnation of Nomomo. When the cosmic womb, pyramid, shrine, temple of Ne Omomo is installed in a specific family, compound, or community, that family multiplies and becomes very successful. Nomwa. Omanne is the Ibu moon and water goddess. She is the mother that is in charge of all that is pure, good, omnibenevolent, moral, and kind. She is also the goddess of the Ibu lunar time system. When one wants to consult Oma, you can either pour libation or use Unzo Calabash chalk. In Ibu spirituality, the Calabash chalk represents purity as Igbo people use it for self-purifications.
Ezu Udo. Udo Ijito Se in Afa is the supreme god of preservation and restoration in Igbo spirituality. He is one of the many incarnations of Chuku, the great Chin. Udo simply means peacefulness in Igbo. Udo preserves, restores, prevents, and subdues all forms of chaos. In this serious Ugo art, Udo is holding an all four, the Igbo staff of truth and justice in his right hand and a lotus flower on his left hand. Lotus is a symbol of purity, enlightenment, and self-regeneration and rebirth, which are the attributes of Udo. The Hindu god Vishnu is an embodiment of Udo, and just like Vishnu, Udo is often depicted in blue color. Udo is the god of light and self-purification. Ogaawa, the age of enlightenment, is when Udo returns to earth to restore peace and harmony. Oglishi, New Baldir, is the sacred tree of Udo. New Baldir is a plant that is native to the west and central part of Africa. This sacred Udo plant is used for various medical purposes. In the book Leopard of the Magical Dawn, Nzechpoka Dibia Mwafo said that Omaabo ancestors are also known for their highly advanced knowledge on Arobunaga, who is actually a defied form of Earth's electromagnetic energy, represented as a cobra with a rearing head forming sacred parts, Aquarala. This sacred serpent is also represented as a python, a kengwohia, in parts of Igbo land. Its manifestation as the cave is represented as a kaobwa, as a sacred cobra. It is diversely represented as aro, aho, arobunaga, ahobulaga, ahobinipa, afo, obunaga, obinipa, ubinopabi. Its multiple heads manifest as geodetic nodes across our planet known as Ishiaho, Ishiaro, Ishiaro, Ishiaro. 